What is up guys, Tyrell here. If you like money and you like crypto, this is the place to be. While I do usually talk about cryptocurrency, this video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm actually gonna be talking about uh, the infrastructure plan that President Biden announced a couple days ago, talk about ESG investing, and some of the ETFs that would play well into the infrastructure plan that was laid out. Now, I will say that this is not investment advice, nor is this financial advice. This is me just gathering all the information that is publicly available out there to help you guys find some resources to guide your own investment decisions as we look forward in the years to come. So let's get right into it. I would say like the format of this video is really going to be me reading off of these articles and then trying to give uh, my opinion on some of these things. So Joe Biden announced that he wants to spend $2 trillion on infrastructure and jobs. And in this article, which I will put in the video description, outlines where the money is going to go. So his far-reaching American jobs plan includes spending to repair aging roads and bridges, jumpstart transit projects, and rebuild school buildings and hospitals. It would also expand electric vehicles, replace all lead pipes, and overhaul the nation's water systems. So infrastructure, $621 billion, transportation infrastructure, I'm sorry. Electric vehicles, he wants to spend $174 billion. So this includes Tesla, um, Ford's putting out an electric vehicle. You have GM, electric covers, all that stuff. Amtrak's repair backlog, improvements to existing routes and expansion. Infrastructure resiliency to withstand climate related disasters. So one thing that's fresh in mind is the disaster that just happened in Texas where there was a winter storm and the entire electrical grid went out and that was just a catastrophe regarding that. $115 billion to modernize bridges, highways, roads, and main streets. I mean, who really likes driving over potholes? Upgrade airports, connect neighborhoods historically cut off by investments. He wants to uh, improve the quality of life at home, spending $650 billion. Stuff like this. And as I said before, I'll go ahead and leave a link to this article in the video description so you know or you can find out any additional information from this article that I don't explicitly go over. All right, they also put out a fact sheet so the white house did regarding the infrastructure plan which is titled the american jobs plan so i'll just read some of the highlighted sections such as delivering clean drinking water a renewed electric grid and high-speed broadband to all americans i mean that's really smart because i think in the 21st century all americans should have access to the internet it not only connects us when we're separated geographically, but it allows the exchange of ideas and even value across the internet. And even now, this video is coming to you through the internet. President Biden's plan will eliminate all lead pipes and service lines in our drinking water systems. So I think they wanted to focus on the Flint, Michigan water crisis where uh, they don't have clean water. It's uh, poisoned by lead. So improving that and improving the health of our country's children and communities of color. Because typically in America, communities of color have been disproportionately affected from a lot of the policies in the past. So I, I would say evening the playing field is one of uh, the good things to come about in this plan. President Biden's plan will create good jobs building, rehabilitating, and retrofitting affordable, accessible, energy efficient, and resilient housing, commercial buildings, schools, and child care facilities all over the country, while also vastly improving our nation's federal facilities, especially those that serve veterans. So there's going to be a lot of demand for construction workers to retrofit and essentially renovate all of these buildings to not only withstand climate disasters and climate change, but to make them more efficient and sustainable as we go forward into the future. So I'll also leave a link to this article in the video description so you can go ahead and read uh, the entire fact sheet that they put out. And I'll actually go into uh, uh, the thematic investing. So I would say everything that's outlined in this plan 
ties well into ESG investing. Now, what is ESG investing? So it stands for environmental, social, and governance. And I'm just going to read this off here. Environmental factors include how a company mitigates its greenhouse gas emissions, whether the products the company creates are sustainable, if it uses natural resources efficiently, and how it deals with recycling. Social. The social component includes both factors both inside and outside the company. Does the business participate in community development, such as providing affordable housing or fair lending? Does it carefully consider diversity and equal employment opportunity in its hiring? Does the company prioritize human rights everywhere? It does business, including other countries. And lastly, governance. Governance or corporate governance refers to the company's leadership and board including whether executive pay is reasonable, if the company's board of directors is diverse, and whether it's responsive to shareholders. So there's a lot that's been happening in society, in American society, where there needs to be more diversity at the upper levels of management and corporate management, really. Uh, if there's equal pay, fair pay, of course, there is a wage gap between who's at the top and everybody else. Also, the wage gap between men and women and uh, majority and minorities, right? So um, we can really see and gauge a, a company based off of these factors and um, how they, they rank according to these factors outlined here. So as I said before, um, everything that was outlined in the fact sheet that the White House put out really goes well into these criteria that are outlined by ESG investing. Now, as I said before, there's a lot of sectors here that are going to be benefiting from uh, this change, right? So how it will be paid for, they want to raise taxes on the upper class to pay for uh, all of these uh, societal goods. But all of these sectors, right, um, there's a way that you can identify these sectors and uh, essentially invest in either individual stocks or ETFs who have a theme regarding these sectors. So there's an article here by MarketWatch. Now, I will remind you guys, this is not investment advice or financial advice. This is just information that's out there and I, I hope that it tells a cohesive, coherent story and it, it makes logical sense. So in this article, some of these funds are good immediate plays while others are for the long term. So uh, as President Joe Biden unveils the massive inter infrastructure package known as the American Jobs Plan, there are some stocks and exchange traded funds that will benefit. Like if an ETF is focused on broadband, so there's a, an ETF here that defines next-gen connectivity. If an ETF focuses on water, there's a, an ETF called Invesco Water Resources, PHO. If it focuses on clean energy, ICLN, ACES, QCLN, transportation, anything that was outlined in this article here or any of the points that were in this fact sheet here. So if you can find a company or an ETF that coincides with whatever was outlined here, then I think you would do well going into the future. Now, I actually have a couple more articles here, so I'll put this onto the video description so you can do your own research as well. At the same time, you could even Google whatever you wanted to find. Uh, if there is any ETFs that um, would benefit from Biden's infrastructure plan, and one last thing that I'll do for you is actually go over some of the ETFs that I've been researching and that I found that really play into the thematic investment themes that were I outlined earlier, such as PHO. So this is an Invesco Water ETF. Now this one it has 37 corporations specializing in companies that create products designed to purify water for homes, businesses, and industries. So as Biden outlined, he wanted to replace and upgrade existing water systems and infrastructure to provide 
clean drinking water for all Americans, and of course waste management and water management. Next we have ACES, so this is a clean energy ETF. The underlying index utilizes a rules-based methodology developed by CIBC National Trust Company, which is designed to provide exposure to a diverse set of U.S. and Canadian companies involved in the clean energy sector, including renewables and clean technology. Even Tesla's in this one. Next we have FAN. So this is the first trust global wind energy ETF. And this index provides a benchmark for investors interested in tracking public companies throughout the world that are active in the wind energy industry. A company must be engaged in some aspect of the wind energy industry. So this is clean renewable energy. And this ETF tracks companies that are specifically engaged in wind technology. Next we have ICLN, iShares Global Clean Energy. This index is designed to track the performance of approximately 28 clean energy related companies. Next we have PBW, Invesco Exchange Traded Fund, Boulder Hill Clean Energy ETF. Stocks are included in the underlying index based on the index provider's evaluation that such companies will benefit substantially from a societal transition towards the use of clean energy and conservation. I mean, this fund is really looking towards the future and is investing in companies that are focused on a clean, sustainable future. Next, we have GRID. So this is an infrastructure plan, right? And this is a NASDAQ Clean Edge Smart Grid Infrastructure ETF. The index includes companies that are primarily engaged in electric grid, electric meters and devices, networks, energy storage and management, and enabling software used by the smart grid infrastructure sector. So America doesn't necessarily have an energy problem. It has an energy allocation problem. The existing grid and infrastructure isn't really designed to deal with the multitude of threats that are currently prevalent, such as uh, a climate change disaster, which is what happened in Texas, or if there is a cyber attack on a power generation facility and it knocks out power to a third of America. So uh, America really does need to renovate and upgrade its electrical grid and make it more resilient to any type of eventuality. Next we have EBLU. This index is a proprietary rules-based modified market cap weighted float adjusted index designed to track the overall performance of equity securities of global water companies. Water. Humans are always going to need water. Like for the rest of humanity, we're always going to need clean water and water management. So uh, these companies are always going to be around in a good market or a bad market. We're always going to need water. Next, we have PSCH. This is a small cap healthcare ETF. And strictly in accordance with its guidelines and mandated procedures, S&P Dow Jones Indices LC compiles, maintains, and calculates the index which is designed to measure the performance of securities of small cap U.S. companies in the healthcare sector as defined by the Global Industry Classification Standard. So as a result of the pandemic, healthcare and essentially just health has really been at the forefront of people's minds. So uh, as humans really just get older and older and live longer, we're always going to need healthcare. Um, there's always going to be sick people, there's always going to be diseases, there's always going to be a need for some type of health care to get people healthy again. Next we have LIT. This is probably my most favorite ETF, mainly because of the name, like it's LIT. And it's the Global X Lithium and Battery Technology ETF designed to measure broad-based equity market performance of global companies involved in the lithium battery industry. Lithium is important for the modern economy. The fund represents the future of battery technology. So modern day technology requires lithium ion batteries. Look at everybody's phone requires a lithium ion battery. If you wear a watch, a smartwatch requires a lithium ion battery. 
If you have a laptop, it requires a lithium-ion battery. If you drive a Tesla, it requires a lithium-ion battery. So um, this ETF tracks those companies that produce lithium-ion batteries. They have um, stocks that are involved in the technology of lithium-ion batteries, the development of this top technology, and things of that nature. So going into the future, we're going to need lithium ion batteries. Next, we have ArcG Genomic Revolution. So uh, this was actually created by ARK Invest, which is probably my most favorite uh, investing company. Uh, so ARK Genomic Revolution ETF invests in domestic and foreign equity securities of companies across multiple sectors, including healthcare, IT, materials, energy, and consumer discretionary that are relevant to the fund's investment theme of the genomics revolution. A fund comprised of medical research companies that are seeking the next generation of cures and vaccines. So really cutting edge stuff that uh, these companies that are involved in this ETF are doing. Uh, next, we have ARC-F, ARC Fintech Innovation ETF, and it seeks long-term growth of capital, invest in domestic and foreign equity securities of companies that are engaged in the fund's investment theme of financial technology. Fintech. Um, as you know, I'm involved in cryptocurrency, and that's one aspect of financial technology. So um, the companies that are at the cutting edge of this next generation of financial technology, you know, like Square, PayPal, etc. This ETF invests in those types of companies. Next, we have ARC-Q, which is the ARC Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF, invests in domestic and foreign equity securities of autonomous tech and robotics companies that are relevant in the fund's investment theme of disruptive innovation. Now, this actually has the potential to be a game changer, right? So as we go forward into the future, we're going to need um, more robotics and autonomy from machines. Now, this sounds almost like Terminator-esque, but um, if you think about it, uh, imagine um, a highway of just like fully autonomous cars where um, we don't have to drive and um, if you program a car to drive it's going to be a lot safer uh, and not prone to human error as we go into the future and if you you just look at the research that's been done uh, even out of like um, what is it Boston Dynamics where they have literal, literal robots that are able to do acrobatics um, you have uh, drones that are able to fly for hours at a time without needing a break and can just like fly in an area and do surveillance. That is the way that the world is going. So uh, this ETF tracks those companies that are heavily involved in autonomous technology and robotics. Next, we have uh, ARC Next Generation ETF, uh, the investment theme of next generation internet and as uh, Biden stated in his infrastructure plan the American jobs plan and wants to invest a hundred billion dollars to increase broadband to all Americans so uh, as more and more people become or come online uh, there's gonna be a need for these companies to bring about an even better internet next we have AIQ global and artificial intelligence now this is going to be really disruptive honestly like artificial intelligence is um, going to become more and more developed as we go on and machines and computers are just going to be smarter as time progresses and this ETF tracks those companies that are heavily involved in artificial intelligence and technology Lastly, we have PAVE here. So this was an infrastructure plan and this ETF is focused on infrastructure development, whether that's modernizing bridges, uh, repairing roads, uh, building airports, etc. This is an ETF that tracks that. Now with each of these ETFs, there's um, like, I just named off hundreds of companies that are gonna be within these ETFs that are focused in like those specific um, 
themes that I mentioned, right? So say for example, uh, AIQ, Global and Artificial Intelligence, all of those companies that are gonna be within this ETF is gonna be focused on those things, right? And the same can be said of Lit. All of these companies are gonna be focused on lithium ion battery technology. Uh, ACES, this is gonna be focused on clean energy. PHO, this is gonna be focused on water. So you could even find individual companies that are focused on these specific problems that are gonna be outlined in the Biden infrastructure plan. So I hope this was a uh, useful information. Um, as I said before, this is not investment advice. I just hope to um, bring together all the information that's out there available for free on the internet and build a clear, concise, and coherent story uh, to help you guide your investment decisions going into the future. Because this is literally where the money's gonna be going, right? It specifies this is where the money's gonna be going. So this is where your money should be going. The trend is your friend. I'm also your friend. <laughs> so please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Tyrell. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, peace.